Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. How does your ex feel about you? Subscribers request. This reading is timeless. And for this reading, there are four different lipsticks to choose from. Lipstick one. Go wild. Lip vibes, all me. What is this color called? It's called Go Wild. I love the earth tones, the neutrals, the browns, the beiges. Lipstick two, Hex, Mega Matte. Urban Decay. Very nice. Oh, there's the camera over there. There's the camera. Okay. And this is Lipstick 3, my newest lipstick. I got it at Amazon. Aquarius. Sephora. I have Sun and Venus in Aquarius. That's not the color I would associate with Aquarius, but okay. And Quattro, four. Sephora, this is called Spark. As always, timestamps will be provided. Think of your X and make your selection. If you chose the first lipstick, Go Wild, here is your reading. How does your ex feel about you? No bullshit. No. You go back to where you came from, pile two. Lipsticks roll. Tarot of the Divine. No, I do not read reversals. I have at least one video with this channel explaining how I read tarot. I go more in depth at Patreon. The Hierophant. Three of Wands. Tres de Bastos. Three of Coins. Tres de Oros. My most romantic deck. I had this deck when I started my channel, November 2018, Legend Arthurian. The Fisher King, King of Cups, Ray Dacopas. Queen of Spears, Queen of Wands, Reina de Bastos. That is rare that two signifiers show up like that side by side. That's beautiful when that happens. The universe, the world, El Mundo, the Giants Dance. Queen of Spears is Dendrain. There will be La Santa Muerte. Good hard shuffle. I do not speak fluent Spanish. That does not stop me from speaking the little bit of Spanish I can speak with my Texas accent. 
little moss. Carga Culpa. Diaz de Bastos, Ten of Wands. La Torre, the Tower. Pareja Tracion, Dos de Copas, Two of Cups. I was just telling my son, I'm trying to figure out a move to Todos Santos, Baja, Mexico. So I'll take a trip there, scout it out, start making plans. Marilyn, Ace of Wands, Oste Bastos. Three of Swords, Tres de Espadas, and Nine of Wands, over the Bastos. How does your ex feel about you? There is still energy here. And when I say there is energy here, I mean that your ex is thinking about you. There is a very strong sexual attraction. It looks like your ex may have moved on. They may be in a relationship, but I can see them reaching out to you again at some point. Perhaps while they're in this relationship, they could reach out to you. Looks like they're married. But they're thinking of you. I can see them looking at your social media. If you have them blocked on Instagram, Facebook, I can see them making a, an anonymous account and seeing what you're up to. They may regard you as the best lover of their life. And they may regard you as the love of their life. To have two of cups in the last row like that, I would say if they are currently in love with you, it is submerged, okay? Um, they try not to dwell on it, which doesn't make sense. If they are checking up on your social media, looking at your pictures, well, that's feeding the flame, that's, that's feeding the fire. I'll just say this, they have not energetically released you. Um, the sexual attraction is the strongest thing to have two of cups in the last row. I feel like there are still feelings involved. I don't know why the two of you couldn't make it work. I don't know if the communication was just terrible, if the two of you were just bringing in a lot of baggage from previous relationships and there was a lot of um, jealousy misunderstanding, stress issues. I don't know why it ended. If they are currently in love with you, they're not just sitting around pining, you know, longing for you. I feel like if they reach out, if they contact you in the foreseeable future, say the next six months, the next year, it's going to be very sexual communication, but it looks like they are currently married or in a committed relationship. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun in Cancer, Taurus rising, Moon in Sagittarius, that's one possibility of many. You could have Sun in Sagittarius, Gemini rising, Moon in Leo, these are just possibilities. I feel like there's still love here. There's still love, but it is extremely complicated because they are in a relationship. Uh, they do think of you. They're very drawn to you sexually. I feel like this person is going to contact you again at some point, but it looks very dangerous. You know, If you want to manifest communication from this person, 
I would just recommend that you're very specific on what exactly you want, what your expectations are. Uh, are you okay with something casual? Are you okay with just being on the side? Or do you want a substantial, long-lasting relationship with this person? It didn't work before. What makes you think it would work this time? And there is resistance. Certainly, if they're married to someone else or they're with someone else, that's a problem. So... Short answer is they haven't let go. They still think of you. They're still attracted to you. Um, they could be in denial of the feelings they have for you. That's what I see for pile one. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Check out Extra Basic Tarot for Zodiac readings and astrology videos, which is gracias. And if you chose Lipstick 2, Urban Decay, Hex, here's your reading starting with Tarot of the Divine, Death, Muerte, Queen of Wands, Reina de Bastos, The Emperor, Mars, Aries, Scorpio. I'll call out possible astro combos once all the cards are on the table. washer and dryer are so loud my most romantic deck legend arthurian one of the few decks i had when i started this channel november 18th 2018 i had legend arthurian cat black scotum tarot and the essential tarot and a few playing card decks ten of swords dias dias bottoms Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas, the Emperor again, Synchronicity, Tero de la Santa Muerte, Victoria Avance, that's the Seis de Espada, Six of Swords. Satisfacion, Relajacion, Nueve de Copas, Nine of Cups. Avaricia, Pusibeda, Cuatro de Oros, Four of Pentacles. Four of Cups, Cuatro de Copas, Three of Wands, Tres de Bastos, Nine of Pentacles, Nueve de Oros. Looks like this person is single and they like being single. Um, as good as the sex was with you, it was quite good. Very energetic, lusty sex and lots of it. They feel like the two of you had too many problems. Um, you didn't understand each other. You weren't on the same page. You wanted very different things. This person may be a workaholic. Career comes first. They're very intense about money. This person is not a romantic and they're not interested in getting back with you however similar to pile one they could regard you as the love of their life the best sex of their life uh, regardless it was very complicated between the two of you you fought a lot you triggered the hell out of each other and right now, they are perfectly content being single. They're very focused on their career, very focused on money.
They don't want any complications. They don't want any drama. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is very similar to pile one. I feel like the two of you brought a lot of baggage into the relationship, a lot of issues from childhood. You triggered each other. Uh, you were always fighting, making up, fighting, making up. This may have been an on again, off again relationship. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Aries. Libra rising, Moon and Cancer. That's one possibility of many. You could have Sun and Leo, Cancer rising, Moon and Sagittarius. I feel like they think that you're too high maintenance. You expect too much. And I feel like you're probably more romantic. You're more emotional. You're more spiritual. This person's more cerebral. They're more focused on career. Um, you could be happy possibly with a minimalist lifestyle, just living in a tiny house off the grid, living in a trailer on a couple of acres of land, um, going into town once a month for supplies. And this person is very married to the grid. They're very married to the matrix. They're all about the 3D, the material world, making money, keeping money. Uh, I'm seeing Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. They're almost maniacal, I would say, when it comes to money. So you're very different. What united you, what brought you close was the phenomenal sex. So... They're not sitting around thinking of you. They're not missing you. Uh, they don't regret what you had. Again, they could regard you as a love of their life, the best sex they ever had, but they don't want the complications and the drama that comes along with it. So they are happy being single, according to these cards. Like I so often say, these are not personal readings. I'm just interpreting the cards in front of me. I don't see anyone. I don't know anyone. Um, I'm reading for a global audience. So I am always available for private readings. I am running a Gemini season discount, timeless reading. But as I record this, we're in Gemini season, $25 for a 15 minute reading. Um, I always advertise my promotions, my discounts at the community section. And all the info on how to book a reading is provided in each and every description box. Check out extra basic tarot for zodiac readings and astrology videos. Muchas gracias. And if you chose lipstick press, lipstick number three, Aquarius, Aquarius. How does your ex feel about you? No bullshit. No. Starting with Tarot of the Divine. Four of Cups, that's a hell of a start. Author of the Copas. I dislike this card so much, I devoted an entire video to it a few years ago. Call it Entitlement. Ace of Swords, Os de Espadas, the Blazing Sword of Truth, the Tower, La Torre. Okay. Wow, it looks really toxic so far. My most romantic deck, Legend Arthurian. Seven of Spears, Seven of Wands, Seven of Bastos, Ace of Cups, Os de Copas, Two of Shields, Two of Pentacles, Dos de Oros. Tero de la Santa Muerte. Ace of Cups, 
Again, cannot make this shit up. Gotta love synchronicity. Oh, that's gorgeous. Messiah. El mundo, the world. Quatro de Copas, Four of Cups. Okay, I'm seeing codependency. Entanglement. Limerence. I keep saying I'm going to read it again, and I need to read it and read it again. Maybe read it five times and take copious notes, because this book keeps coming up in all my client readings. Um... A general theory of love. It's a psychology text and it's about limerence, you know, how the first seven years of our lives, whatever we're surrounded by, it doesn't matter how dysfunctional the first seven years of our lives may be. Whatever happens in the first seven years, we're going to look for that. We're going to seek that out as adults and lovers. Uh, as you become aware as you do shadow work, as you do the work on yourself, you can go beyond that. But that's where that saying comes from. The heart wants what the heart wants. We're hardwired to want something specific. So as I've said numerous times at this channel, at Patreon and client readings, I've had a very complicated life. I've been married and divorced twice. I've had numerous relationships. The man that I loved the most, the deepest, um, the most recent ex, the Capricorn, he lit up my limbic Christmas tree, as I call it. So my dad was abusive. He was an alcoholic. He was a rageaholic. Uh, he abandoned me and my mom and my two younger siblings when I was six. He left the state. He left us for a woman he met in a bar in Louisiana. So... The man that uh, evoked the strongest <clears throat> reactions in me happens to be an emotionally unavailable alcoholic who's 15 years older. My dad is 19 years older than me. So it's absolutely valid. I will have to read that book and maybe do a video on it because it comes up again and again and again. So all of that is just to say Ace of Pentacles, Os de Oros, Nine of Swords, maybe they have Spadas, Seven of Swords, they think the Spadas. You triggered the hell out of each other. Um, and I've said pretty much the same thing for all three piles so far, but I say what I see and this is what I'm seeing. So I'm saying, um, you know, there's something deep going on here. Perhaps you regard this person as a soulmate, maybe a twin flame, divine counterpart. It was intense. It is intense. There's still energy here. I feel like um, on some level, you're still in contact. So I don't get into the 5D too much or the labels. I just, I don't. I'm very 3D oriented. I'm very down to earth. I'm very realistic. But I can see you dreaming of this person a lot. I can see them dreaming of you. I can see you communicating telepathically. Uh, there's a very strong possibility that they regard you as the love of their life. It's very likely, just a card reading, and this is, this is a pick a card I'm reading for a global audience, but it's very likely that um, you were together in previous incarnations because that's what it is you know when you have a very strong reaction to someone well there's karma we have karma with everyone but the more intense you know it's previous incarnations not everyone believes in that i was brought up southern baptist in texas you get one life and then you die and you go to heaven or hell but as an adult i certainly believe in reincarnation um and so there's that, you've, you've got the karma from previous incarnations and then you've got limerence from the first seven years of your life. So it becomes very complicated. There are layers upon layers, but I'm seeing deep love here. They still love you. 
They still think of you. They dream of you. And I can see the two of you getting back together. I can see you reuniting. Um, but I feel like this person is avoidant. I feel like they struggle with intimacy. Um, you may have wondered when you were together, does this person even care about me? Do they love me at all? Well, yes, they do. They did and they do. They do love you. But it's very difficult for this person to express love and for them to be present, to be emotionally open, to be vulnerable. And this is probably because of stuff they went through in their childhood. Uh, they could have had trauma. They could have abandonment issues. Um, so they have this deep abiding love for you. And I feel like you've done terrible things to each other. This really reminds me of the Capricorn X. I did things to him. He did things to me that most other people, they would just say, okay, you're clearly crazy. I'm done. I want no part of this. This is just crazy town. But we brought out the worst and the best in each other. It was very complicated. It was very karmic. Um, you know, we were in a karaoke bar on South Padre, and already he had been drunk the entire weekend. He had been talking about his ex-wife, a woman he divorced in the 80s, and this was in 2013. So I was already feeling very raw, and I was just pissed. I was just done. And then in a karaoke bar, he started ooing and aahing over some chick from Austin. And so I left him in the bar and I got all of his stuff and put it in a trash bag and took it to the front desk and said, I'm checking out. I'm not paying for this room another night. Um, gave the guy the, my ex's name. And then I was driving off and I saw my ex walking from the karaoke bar. And I was going to make up with them, you know, I just, I had so much love. It was, it was insane how much love I had for this man, but he said some very harsh words. And so I said, get the fuck out of my car. And I left him on South Padre. He had to catch a bus back to San Antonio. So maybe you and your ex had something like that, where you just drove each other to extremes. Um, my ex was also the catalyst for me going back to college in my middle age and finally getting my college degree in my middle age. He helped me figure out finally basic algebra so that I could pass algebra and get my degree. It was heaven and hell. I'm seeing heaven and hell here. Uh, obsession, jealousy, brutal arguments. So not just simple, bland misunderstandings, but you know how to hurt each other. You know how to trigger each other. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing codependency. So I feel like this person is chaotic. Maybe you are as well, meaning, uh, just going from relationship to relationship, not stopping and taking a breath and doing the work so that you can fix the pattern, you can fix the dynamic, fix it so that you don't keep attracting the same kind of low vibration energy. Uh, this person goes from relationship to relationship. I'm seeing an addict. They could be an alcoholic, drug addict, or they could just be a relationship addict. They can't be alone. So it's very messy. I don't feel like it's over with this person. Uh, I can see the two of you reuniting. But if you want it to work and not just be a series of tower moments, you're going to have to work on yourself and be firm with your boundaries and do a deep dive and, and do some shadow work, just according to these cards. It's just 
Pick a card reading, not a personal reading. It's your story or it isn't. It resonates or no, not at all. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Leo, Cancer rising, Moon and Gemini. That's one possibility of many. You could have Sun and Taurus, Cancer rising, Moon and Gemini. I feel like you have at least one really intense conjunction. By intense, I mean Pluto conjunct Moon tied orb five degrees or less. Sun conjunct Moon tied orb five degrees or less. Mercury conjunct Mercury. The tighter the orb, the more intense it's going to be. Uh, Mars conjunct Venus, which is sexual. It's not spiritual. It's not emotional. But sex triggers the emotions. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff here. A lot of energy and probably really complicated sinistry. Yeah, that's it for Pile 3. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Check out Extra Basic Tarot for Zodiac readings and astrology videos. Muchas gracias. And if you chose Glapro, lipstick number four, here is your reading, starting with Tarot of the Divine. Justice, La Justicia. Five of Coins, Five of Pentacles, Cinco de Oros. Ten of Coins, Diaz de Oros. My Most Romantic Deck, Legend Arthurian. Oh. How does your ex feel about you? No bullshit. No. When I started this channel, November 18th, 2018, I had this deck. I had the Essential Tarot. I had Cat Black's Golden Tarot and a few playing card decks. I have boxes. I get these boxes at Michael's. I have boxes upon boxes under my bed filled with cards. There are some decks that I just, I never use them. And some I use again and again. I use this deck a lot. I use this deck a lot. The Empress. Strength. King of Cups. Ray of Copas. This is interesting. So for all four piles, I'm not seeing neutrality. I'm not seeing um, ambivalence, which is interesting because, I mean, that's, that's just a fact. Ambivalence is a fact. You're not exchanging energy with someone. If you've not spoken to someone in two years or longer, it's safe to say they're not in love with you. They don't want to get back with you. You know, time to move on. But for all of these decks, I'm seeing a lot of energy. El Sol, the sun. King of Cups again. Two of Wands, those the boss, those. Luck of the draw. Knight of Cups, Cavalier of the Copas, Three of Pentacles, Three of Oros. Seven of Cups, Fifth of the Copas. Are you sure this is your ex? Because it looks like you're still talking to each other and there are a lot of feelings involved. People can watch anything, obviously. I mean, people who are not in relationships, people who have no desire to be in a relationship, people who are just done with the whole thing can watch Pick of Cards. So you could be with this person and you're watching Thinking of another ex, hell, I don't know, but what I'm seeing here is a relationship. I'm not seeing an ex. Um, 
this could be one of those on again, off again things, but it looks like this person has very strong feelings for you. It looks like they are currently in love with you. They're infatuated. Uh, they have you on a pedestal. And you've known this person for a while. You've been in this for a while. A marriage card, a marriage card, justice, 10 of pentacles. I'll go out on a limb here and say either you're married or you're engaged. You could be living together. So maybe you broke up and then you got back together. And this could be future. This could be your future. This could be you getting back together with an ex. Maybe they're your ex right now, but it looks like you are going to be together. You're going to marry each other. Uh, this love is always being renewed. I keep on falling in love with you. I'm hearing Alicia Keys. I'm not getting the crazy toxic vibes that I got from some of the other piles. This looks pretty healthy. I see two people who are choosing each other. You may have struggled at some point. Maybe you struggled financially. Um, maybe it started off in the beginning. You met online and you lived in different countries, different states. Distance was a factor. It took a while because of finances, maybe for the two of you to actually meet in person. Um, but once you got together, I'm just seeing a lot of love here. I'm seeing you having a child or children together. A possible astral combo for this person, they could have Sun and Leo, Libra rising, Moon and Pisces. You could have Sun and Capricorn, Leo rising, Moon and Scorpio. How do they feel about you? They love you. I'm seeing marriage. That's refreshing. It's refreshing not to see any craziness. I'm not seeing chaos. I'm not seeing two people who push each other's buttons. I'm not seeing two people who trigger each other. I'm not seeing third party. Uh, it's your story or it isn't. But I see total love. That's what I have for Pile 4. And that does conclude this Pick a Card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.